This is a video about Phillipsburg, New Jersey, and its twin city across the Delaware River, east in Pennsylvania. But I primarily wanted to focus on Phillipsburg because I've been to Easton a couple times. I think most people tend to go there and they go past Phillipsburg. They might see it across the river from Easton. But I wanted to give Phillipsburg its day and go through the town. I feel like I barely scratched the surface, but I tried to get an overall view of Phillipsburg. So this is a view looking across the Delaware River from Easton. And I just wanted to show you that this is the overall map of the area. Phillipsburg's on the east. Easton is on the west side of the Delaware. And the Lehigh River flows into the Delaware right at the main confluence of everything. So and there's also another creek that comes in to the Delaware through Easton. So this is the overall area. And then this is the way I came in. I came in from the east. I drove, I wound up being on Route 22. I thought maybe the major area to look at was going north. Went up north of the river a little bit determined it wasn't really the main part and went back south. Then what happens when you're on the main street, either North Main or South Main of Phillipsburg, you tend to get drawn over the river, whether you want to go or not. And I don't mind Easton. I like Easton. But it was where you were kind of getting vacuumed into going over the bridge and into Easton. So I drove through Easton and drove through their downtown and drove around Lafayette College up on the hill and came back down. And then I stopped at a viewpoint to look back over at Phillipsburg and also to look at a really interesting area with a lot of bridges and there's a dam, everything in one area. It's a lot to look at. So it's really interesting. I'll show you that later in the video. And this is the area I'm talking about looking south down the Delaware with the Lehigh River coming in from the right, from the west. And there's railroad bridges that are still in operation. This is a closer up picture. Just a lot of infrastructure that was built in the late 1800s, early 1900s in this area, real railroad area. Now it's just for freight, but passenger trains used to go through here too. And I mean, I was interested in the transportation and the infrastructure, but I also am interested in architecture. And this is just one really interesting building I saw near a train station in Phillipsburg. And there were more Victorian type buildings to look at, but I wind up going to the stations. I always find the train stations to be interesting. And there's an old station here still in Phillipsburg. Easton, there's no longer one, I believe, from what I've read. I didn't see one also when I was driving around, but it's a rather small station, but it's on the National Register of Historic Places, and I'll show that later in the video. And then on my way back to the New York area, because you're about 50, 60 miles away from New York when you're in Phillipsburg and Easton, I went through the town of Washington where I thought that there would be a train station. There wasn't, but this was the old train station. So you'll see me at the end of the video trying to find a train station in Washington, which is an interesting town I'd like to go back to. So with all that preamble, let me start the video. Trying to figure out why the traffic is creeping along here in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, established 1861. This is the first part of what might be the downtown that I'm seeing. I'm looking for it. Let's see what we see when we get up here. Some semblance of a railroad history here. This old train car. I guess it's a bar now. I don't know. We'll see. It's the old train station, Union Station. And you're pretty much forced to go over the river, I guess, to go to Pennsylvania? Easton, Pennsylvania? Let's see. Maybe this bridge is popular because you don't have to pay a toll? Like you do elsewhere. And there's a really interesting waterfall and bridge. I've been in Easton once before. I've never been in Phillipsburg across the river. There's another bridge over there. So there's a lot of infrastructure right here in this area. Can't tell you whether 
different rail lines are still in operation at all for freight. So we'll go into Easton and then we'll come take a look at Easton a little bit and then we'll come back to Phillipsburg. So I guess there's no toll to go across the Delaware River here in town. And so there's a real slow backup to get into town. And then the roads pretty much want to take you over the river to eastern Pennsylvania. It looks like some new construction going on there. All right, so we'll check it out as we get further in here. old buildings. I hope they're being renovated. Another renovation project over there. The Grand Estonian. I'm taking this shot into the sun because I don't know if I'm going to be coming back this way. So I might as well take it while I can. A lot of uh, things are torn up here in Easton. Things are being fixed up. So this is like a roundabout around that town square with a really nice obelisk monument in the middle. So they're redoing the plaza around here. And we'll go out over to the right here just to get out of the sun. More really neat architecture. I think I might have been here a couple of times actually. Once by myself and once with my wife. So I think it's Lehigh University that's up on the hill. It says College Hill. Let me make sure which college this is. We'll go up and come back down. It's part of Lafayette College, not Lehigh. I had my the first letter correct. So it's up on the hill looking down. I'll take this up and then take another look from up top. Make no mistake about it. This is Lafayette College. It has some beautiful architecture. And there's like the campus over there. It's actually a good sized school. I think the students are just moving in. I've seen some parents carrying stuff in. It's the last weekend before Labor Day. Let's go this way. Colonial. And modern. And colonial again. Is 
the predominant architectural style. There's other styles, but it's the one you see the most. And there's classical style. Okay. And back down the hill. Let's go back into town. Signs say this is the way to the main entrance, so I wonder if this is where the professors live. The main entrance of Lafayette College, so we'll go straight down here and see. This looks like a real typical Pennsylvania street. A lot of porches on these houses, and their houses are close to each other. Some older houses here. So that's the main entrance here on High Street. Okay, well, we've gone down that before. So let's go this way instead. I didn't expect this to be a college tour. I wanted to look more at the towns of Easton and Phillipsburg, but we'll keep looking. We'll go back into town. I tried to go back down to town, but um, it took me back up here. The historic downtown of Easton, coming down from the Lafayette campus and here's one of the last buildings of the campus right by the highway I guess this is route 22 this is some of the residential area right near downtown Easton It's a huge parking garage right across from the Easton Police Department. Hotel Lafayette. I wonder if that's still a going thing. This looks interesting on the right, like a restaurant with an awning out front or a club. I guess it's a church, really impressive building with a Duomo almost on the top. All right, so we'll go down into the downtown here. This is a really cool building here on the corner. Two Rivers Brewing Company. I've never seen a, like a round part of a building supported by a single column. It's really uh, unique. There's that church again, looking through the buildings. State Theater has Gladys Knight performing in a couple of months. Yeah, this is where the 
headquarters of the Crayola Crayons Company is. And I don't know if it's still a thing, but they're trying to make it an interactive place for kids. Make it an east and a destination to come to. And here's that plaza under construction, reconstruction. of architecture here and it's on a Sunday and there's plenty of cars parked here but I can't say it's teeming with street life all right we're gonna go back down the street and then back around Park by the river, the Delaware River, called Riverside Park. There's something going on there, some small event. I was here once before when they had an art festival right in that park. Another long line of cars to get over the bridge back to New Jersey. I don't know if I want to get in this line. I might take the other bridge, but I do want to see Phillipsburg. I want to park here and see a little bit more of the river. Let's try it here. This is what I think is so interesting about Easton is uh, the confluence of rivers and the railroad history. And I think that railroad bridge is still active for freight. And it goes over the Delaware and you can't see it, but if we, where we're looking straight ahead, there's a water, there's like a dam and it's flowing over the dam. So, you can't canoe from here to that bridge. You'd have to go over a dam, and that would not be good. It's really a pretty setting here. I'll put on the screen what river this is. It's flowing into the Delaware. Two rivers, trailway. It's a nice park. Not too many people using it, but it's nice. Everybody's stuck in traffic. So I guess this is where Larry Holmes, the former heavyweight champ, is from. This map explains that it's the Lehigh River that flows into the Delaware. And there's also Bushkill Creek. And this is downtown Easton. Well, I hope it's not really Blondie. I hope it's a band playing Blondie so I can use this in the video. It's a tribute band. It's doing a great job. We got some rafters coming up from going down the Delaware. For those of you who like flowing water, this is for you. So 
looking up the river, there's more bridges. So that bridge is over the Lehigh, and this set of bridges is over the Delaware. So here's where people bring their tubes up after they've taken the river ride. Twin Rivers Tubing. And looking back at the downtown of Easton. All right, now we'll go into Phillipsburg, New Jersey with the sun to our back coming from Easton over this quaint little steel bridge that's getting repainted. So Phillipsburg makes a good first impression when you come across the river from Easton. When you approach the town from the highway though, it just takes you forever to get down here by the river. I mean, where they say Phillipsburg starts, there's the old train station, I guess. It's now a bar. Um, so it's just got a lot of strip malls and big box stores as you come in from the east headed west and this street there's always a really long line of traffic from each direction to go over the bridge to easton i guess historic district so it's a really interesting looking downtown area here the commuter train from New Jersey Transit used to come here until the 1980s and now you have to go to the closest you have, station to here is High Bridge Across this little bridge. There's another train station looking thing. Maybe this is a train track, so we'll come back and take a look at that train station. Looks like an apartment or public housing, I can't tell. It's public housing. It's a good thing that it doesn't automatically look like public housing. All right, let's go up to this monument. And we'll turn around and come back. Chapel Park. Or do you pronounce it Chappelle? This is more of what I was looking for, a real downtown. All right, we'll make a left on Stockton Street here. here at Sitgreave Street, we'll see. A lot of flags in that particular area of the block. And we're going to go around that triangular park that has the monument, Chappelle or Chapel Park. to the sun. All right, so we'll go back over this railroad bridge, bridge over the railroad. And we'll take a look at this old station here in Phillipsburg. So I'm constantly fighting with the sun here. 
in Phillipsburg. I don't think this cloud is going to help me. But this is the old Phillipsburg train station, uh, Central Railroad of New Jersey. And I heard that passenger service came to Phillipsburg as late as the 1980s, but this station looks like it hasn't seen passenger service in longer than that, but I'll see if I can get more details. And then this track, I think, leads to go over one of the railroad bridges over the Delaware River into Easton, Pennsylvania. And it's still an active track. The signal lights are on. And it looks like it's in operating condition. It's not all overgrown. Here's a look down the stairway of yesteryear down to the track level. It has just a little canopy. Which makes me wonder. And the station doesn't look super huge. It's pretty, but it makes me wonder whether this was ever a big railroad stop. But like a lot of towns in New York and New Jersey, you can probably go a great distance west from Phillipsburg. That's a tile roof to the canopy. You also don't see that too often. Some Doric columns. Here's a plaque. A shared, a shared station. That's why it's called Union Station, because it's more than one railroad. Jersey Central and the Delaware Lackawanna and Western Railroads. This station was built in 1912-1914. Architect Frank Neese, who did so many stations in New Jersey, and he worked for the Delaware Lackawanna. Some real beauties. It's thought of as a prairie style station because of the overhanging eaves. There are two floors below the street level, the lower one open to the platform where passengers loaded and unloaded. The building also served as a bank, pharmacy, and cleaners before being acquired by the Transportation Heritage Society. Let's see if we can see in. Uh, you can't tell really what is going on here. It's a sort of storage, but it still has the benches. Fans are operating. There's a railroad festival I saw a sign for it elsewhere. September 10th, that's in a couple of weeks. At Chapel Park here and also here and I think they are having train rides Delaware excursion train rides would be fun to check out the first of its kind I don't know what they mean by that but Here's another track on the opposite side of the station, which also looks like it could be in, still in use, and it has signals that are lit up. All right, we'll take a look at it from over where those cars are parked and look back at the sun to our back. Here at Phillipsburg. Here's another look from the back of the Frank Neese designed Union Station, former Delaware Lackawanna and Central New Jersey Depot here in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. A prairie style architecture. Now here's a postcard picture of the station when it was in operation. It opened in 1914 and it was in operation nearly 70 years until the end of 1983. New Jersey Transit had taken over from the private railroads that 
used to go to the station and stopped having passenger service in the 1960s, but New Jersey Transit resumed service, I think, in the late 70s, and it stayed in operation for several years, but then they finally terminated the end of the line further east at Highbridge, New Jersey. So there are two tracks that are in operation, and there were two railroads, separate railroads back in the day, the Central New Jersey Railroad and the Delaware Lackawanna Railroad. And an interesting set of buildings right across the street. Actually, it's pretty nice. Almost looks like it has an Asian roof. Retrofitted on an old Victorian. Another shot going up South Main Street, or maybe we're on North Main Street because it's north of the tracks into downtown Phillipsburg. We're on South Main. I guess that's why it's called the Soma Grill, South Main. It looks like a Carnegie Library here. Maybe it was. I didn't quite catch the name. I'll see. So this also looks like another station, old station here. So maybe there was more than one in Phillipsburg. And everybody else is going into downtown Easton, but we'll keep going north. So this is the residential area above the downtown, very steep up the hill. But I wanted to get a little better flavor of what the residential area of Phillips Town looks like. Very steep town, hills every which way. Nice front porch. It's a lot like Pennsylvania, even though we're on the east side of the Delaware. and then see uh, if the scenery changes at all. Everybody has to park in the street. Not too many uh, driveways. Cemetery in this part of town. A little further inland, a bit down the hill. I want to see if anybody has a view of the Delaware River. That would be neat if they did. We'll go down and take a look. Maybe there'll be a view as we 
it right on this street, going down towards the river. Let's see. something else and now it's converted into a businesses and I almost wonder whether it was an old hospital or something I'll turn around and go back whatever it was it was huge maybe it was an old school or I'm trying to make that out it says standard I don't know whether this is still a museum how do you get up to it is the question and what was this building originally It's for another day to figure that one out. I'm just looking for where there used to be a station in Washington, New Jersey, which is between Hackettstown and Phillipsburg. And I'm just wondering whether this concrete abutment if there used to be a station up here, there's some tracks, right? Where it's all overgrown now. There's some older buildings here. There's a nice downtown. It's kind of a little bit of ways from... This area. Here's a historic picture I found of the old Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Station in Washington, New Jersey. It was built in 1900. It was put on the National Register of Historic Places in 1979, and it was demolished in 1982. What do you think? Could there have been a station up here? Right near the tracks. Maybe I'll find an old picture of the station. This is Route 31, which is a north-south road. And you can see the train trestle over the highway down there. And there's another place where a north-south line runs through town here, too. You can catch a little bit of the downtown. I'll come back to Washington. It looked interesting. underneath the other train trestle. This isn't really giving you the greatest flavor of Washington at dusk, but there's train tracks crossing every which way. There's another track over here. Let me go straight. Because the one I saw before was over here. So all these intersecting lines in Washington, it seems like it would have been a real railroad town. Where would the station have been? Here's another look at that train trestle with plants and trees growing out of it. Back on Route 57 going east. There's the old Washington Theater. It's sort of separate from the rest of downtown. It's all boarded up, unfortunately. Some nice Victorians. See, like there's another trestle. It'd be nice if there were rail trails, if 
they're not going to take advantage of it as an actual railroad. I'll investigate further. Maybe a future video.